the, what doesn't the, matter. The, 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 what are you talking the happiness, about? The the happiness show, us. show us it. Show I'm us. Us. Show, show yeah, show us. Show us. Yeah. Show us what you're talking about, claim maker. So a mess of a planet, you cannot reproduce it to another planet. Yeah, it's a nice story. Show us. Show us what we can't reproduce. But look at this mud ball here, uh, decoders. We're gonna scale this mud ball up to the size Kimo. of a, size of a house. Kimo. Size Kimo. Of a house. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot measure, and you cannot imply here on Earth another planet. That is Earth. Yeah. Also, this is a smaller. No, Earth. Oh, it's not Earth. It's Try a small again. Earth. What's the difference between that Earth and the Earth we stand on? What's the difference? Eyes. Eyes? Size. Oh, size, size. Well, what does the size have to do with it? Come on, it's very hard to talk with you. Explain, if you don't understand, if you don't understand, if you don't understand basic the basic physics, it's very hard. So, for example, we could take you see you see the picture I posted, yeah, of that mud ball, right? So we could put those balls in a Cavendish experiment and have a bigger mud ball attract to a smaller mud ball, right, Decodus? That's what your science says. Mass attracts mass. So if we have a snowball. A small snowball, water, and a large mud ball, and we put that in... I have been talking about sizes and bigger masses. Don't imply Cavendish in our discussion. That is nonsense. Well, like I said, let's take a large mud ball, the size of a bowling ball, and then we're going to take... the same thing. Is not the same thing, thing you know. chemo. No, no, no. We're going to take a large mud ball the size of a bowling ball. Scale is a thing. Then we're going to take um, a snowball the size of a marble. And then we're going to have... Scale is a thing. What? You have no idea of scale of anything, do you? Did you see the mud ball that Flat I posted? Earth problem. Yes, I know. Shells, I agree. They're just yeah. too stupid to realise. They always, when they imagine it's a ball, they're no, like about the size of a pumpkin, sweetie. and beyond yeah. that, my brain breaks. Yeah, yeah, a mud <laughs> ball the size of a pumpkin. That's a good one. So we've got a pumpkin-sized right, mud ball. Hey, actually, we've got a pumpkin-sized mud ball and a small snowball. Are you saying that those two would attract one another in a in a cabin? No, it's inalogous. What? A snowball and a mud ball will not attract. Why? <laughs> Why would they not attract? Not playing your games today, Chemo. Sorry. Well, I was asking uh, Decodus why they wouldn't do oh, attract. Sorry, sorry. I assumed you were talking to me. Sorry. Depends how. I mean, I guess if you're into that kind of thing, I guess a mud ball, mud ball could be attractive. To a snowball. <laughs> Perhaps. I mean, I don't know what snowballs are into. Oh, you don't have snow in Australia. Have you ever seen a snowball? Yes, we do have snow, actually. We've got some fairly underwhelming snow fields. Yeah, but you, have, you ever seen a, have you ever made a snowball before in your life? Probably haven't. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah, no, when. we've made them. When? Oh, when I was a kid, we used to go to Threadbow all the time. Threadbow, like, you know, we've got Threadbow and Parish for a couple of ski fields, and if you go there on a lucky year, uh, you might get some snow. Were there on a lucky year? As, yeah. As, as Mippet gorgeously uh, stated, they're not analogous to one another. It, it, is gonna, it doesn't get any sense. Oh, analogous. She's... <laughs> Come on. I thought she says, I can't even pronounce what she said. Elaligus. Anyway, here's another mud ball, a larger mud ball. And you still don't get scale. So this is a bigger ball now. Yeah, but you're trying to compare this piece of dirt with a massive fucking planet. No. We're that gonna... is your problem. 
We're going to put a smaller mass next to the bigger <laughs> Jesus. mass. <laughs> Why doesn't your Good cabin you, dish Kima, have a problem? Do that. How come you don't have an earth-sized ball to practice your cabin dish experiment, kids? I have to mute. You crack me up. <laughs> come on. We need an earth Earth sized ball to prove gravity, right? Funny boys. Night. 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 Well, then let's see the little ball then. Night. Come on. As Neil deGrasse Tyson says, if you took Earth's highest peaks to its lowest lows, it would not be but the depth of a fingerprint compared to Earth's. That means it would be a spherical curve. Show us the curved mountain tips. Show us your equation for a point of mountain tip in gravity spheres. My show favorite thing about listening to Demok is when he says, show me things, and he says things that you're like, nobody says that's a real thing. He's like, show me gravity show inside me my butthole at night time without a torch. I need the parabola <laughs> equation for points for triangles. I need the parabola equation for points of triangles. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Keep doing it. I swear you you're shit, like dude. laughing as a retard. Well, you eat dog shit like a retard, so I mean... Zing. Oh, fucking got me there, bro. Ooh, no, it's true. There's nothing wrong with the truth. Stop eating dog shit. Is that a child I heard in the background? Please tell me you haven't procreated, Demok. But eggshells, is it possible to have a big mud ball and a small snowball attract? Um, like I said, it probably depends on what they're each into. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sort of su suggest they su should segregate from one another. What mass of the snow will be attracted to the mass of the mud ball? Yeah, yeah. Why not? I mean, probably acted on by a bunch of other forces, aren't they? What's the mechanism? Well, just get the police forces, the force of the Bible, saying, "Hey." You've got to only, you know, we only got to reproduce the cabinets, and then we can see our sphere. Married to and when gay's we get not okay, and race mixing's not okay, and so how does the cabinet? You know, depends what your boys? Bible says, really, because that's the only place this really comes from. I read one book, and I decided that that was probably the best way to what know everything possible about the world. That's what I think happens, really, in most fluff minds. I've never read the Bible, and I give a fuck less about it. What's your point now? I don't now? think you've ever read a single book, Demok. Let's, let's be clear on this. I don't think you've read anything more clear, than a road, sign, a road sign. You I don't need even to read about five them. more on how to not be a moron. Maybe get a little common tell me, sense. Tell Maybe me, Demok, what, what was the most interesting book Maybe you ever read? Maybe use your brain read. for an actual thought. Do you have an actual... Have you ever thought of anything your own self? Let's hear it. Sure, An sure. original thought yeah, yeah. from you. I've written a book. You know, I've had a couple of thoughts. No, in that. Not, not have you ever words read a book? What's the most interesting book you've ever read? I said, have you, you ever know? had an original thought, idiot? I don't think you understand can be original. Do you I think they're always just a slight adjustment of everybody else. Do you understand thoughts? flow of conversation? Yeah, yeah, I do. Do you? No, I don't think you do. Now, the question was, have you ever had an original thought? Your answer was no, right? I don't think there is such a thing as an original thought. I think so. Your answer is no, right? Have you? Tell me your original thought. D go for it now. You go. don't breathe go, air. Go. You don't no, breathe air. Is that your original thought? Yes. I mean, I Fish guess don't breathe it might air. be somewhat original because it's wrong. Fish don't breathe air. Wrong. It's easy seaweeds to think new wrong things. Underwater. Like I could say pumpkins are well, probably. Well, explain us how seaweeds breathe in the same air underwater that I'm breathing, that fish are breathing. Show us how they're all doing the same thing real quick, idiot. Show us how they're doing all the same thing real quick. Yeah, seaweed underwater. I feel a like fish. it's like I'm talking to a crustacean who's being like, can you yeah, please Yeah, I feel like you have no evidence for anything me. and you think something and you don't even know what an electron, what a proton, means. seaweed, oxygen is a you good way of explaining Demok. You don't know Jeez. what you don't know what a crustacean is. How it's does it work? Crab. How does it breathe? It's got an exos exoskeleton. They breathe through those little like things that look like trees that fly, that come out of their mouths. Near their mouths aren't they? Can you make me one tomorrow? And I make you a crustacean. See, this is what I do think you think original thoughts, Demok, just because they're so divorced from reality and somewhat retarded that I don't think other people have managed to do no, that. No, maybe you're retarded and you don't have a thought process, and maybe that's why I outthink you by a million percent IQ. 
million percent <laughs> IQ. Yeah, wow, that's how this is getting better. IQ of a broken Considering like yeah. I, this is what's you so fascinating IQ about it. IQ is not a percent, right? A hundred is bang on average. You have zero. So this zero which is why you know people who are above average go above a hundred. So it's not percent, is it? It's not out of a hundred. But it well, kind I said of it shows was. where you're coming from. You're not playing with a full deck, bro. I think for myself, bro. What's the most interesting book you've ever read? Demark's book. Tell us what's in Demark's book. Explanations, nothing without demonstration. Explanations, nothing without demonstration. That's good. That's chapter one. What's chapter two? Don't let your schooling get in the way of your learning. Don't let the schooling get in the way of your learning. Love it. What happened? <laughs> I think that was the end of round one. Ah, right. I just didn't hear the bell. Probably a double knockout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless Jem popped in and muted the pair of them. No, no, I'm still here. So what do you want to talk about, x -Shars? You keep uh, going on about religion. Are you trying to um, explore religion? Um, I just became, I just suddenly became fascinated that these servers run for years and years on end. The only reason that anybody ever seems to believe in a flat earth is for religious reasons, yet when in these servers, almost nobody discusses it. Okay, so it's you like want to talk the about the It seems to me the elephant in the room, right? You want to talk about the connection between religion and flat earth? Yeah. Because if, if there's a, the only way Flat Earth is possible is if there's a creator doing magic behind the scenes, in my mind. Okay. Otherwise, you just go sphere, simple object, single-sided object, meets itself on all sides. It's, we see it in nature occurring again and again. It's kind of dull and boring and simple. Therefore, no need for a creator. Whereas if you go, there's this dome that you've never seen and there's the underside that nobody knows about and... There's all of this improbable stuff that requires we throw out physics. The only way to make that work is to go, I invoke magic. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if you prove to me the flat earth, I would be like, God must exist. Where did your ball come from? Uh, I think it could just arise out of natural things. I think, like, you know, you release anything, it's just going to sort of, in, if you... Remove it of all other forces. I think all it's going to find itself doing is turning into a sphere. Even with Where other does... forces, it'll turn into a sphere. It's, simp it's simpler than your model. Would you not agree with that, Brian? Where, where did your original um, matter come from? Then? No, that's a good question. I've got no idea what... what... I, I could easily believe that it just sort of always was there as much as it sort of had to start existing at a certain point, but it's so far beyond my ability to comprehend. I wouldn't try to pretend I could explain to you the origins of the universe in any kind of way that would be approximating reality. In fact, I think that I wouldn't be surprised if scientists have it wrong and they're just going, well, we mathematically model things because it, it's the only way we can hope to explain things, but... I'd be astounded if we... everybody in Flat Earth being religious. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in religion. I'm yeah, you're religion. like one of Maybe. the only ones I've met, though, wouldn't yeah, you agree, make Brian? That too. No, make that too. You don't believe there's a God, Demok? That's not what you I said. You don't believe there's a creator? My Bible, and I don't go by none of that shit, and I never read in the Bible the earth was flat, because I could give a fuck less about what that book says, just like a book you read. So, so um, you don't believe in a creator, Demok? <laughs> Oh, I, 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 believe, I was created. I believe there's my a most known unknown. My mom and dad made me, yes. Yeah, my parents made there's me. A lot of, there's a lot of most known unknowns that you'll never know. Yeah, I'd agree with that. So wh where do we go from there? See, like your Earth. Have you ever went to the core? You ever been down there in an elevator? You been to the dome? I never claimed a dome, idiot. I said, have you been to the core of your imaginary earth, your globe? I'm here to set the record straight. There's fucking no globe. 
Quit asking me about imaginary fucking earths and flat shit and dog shit when all we have is a globe that you can't produce. Now, I'm standing here on this imaginary globe that I can't never get a piece of or see any inkling of or measure or test. Why is that riding on eggshells? We can't unequivocally. Uh, We can get your elevator shaft and turn your camera on and let's go down to the fucking center of your globe. Sorry, can't do it. We got an excuse. This is round two, though. <laughs> I don't think I certainly would agree, right Demok. I don't think Where I could the explain it in a way globe? that you could understand. Where is the center of your globe? Explain it any way you can with evidence, with the with the video evidence. I don't know. There you go. Exactly. You don't have a globe, you idiot. Where's the center of your nice. flat Earth? I don't. I have a globe that doesn't exist. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But what shape? It, I'm a, I'm it's a little a kid that's a glober with no if it's globe. Not a, it's, yeah, that's a good question. Can somebody help it. me find my Ask globe? I'm undercoat. missing it. It's called a little blue ball. I'm missing my globe. Can somebody help me find it? That's what I'm here to find, the globe. I'm here to help everybody so, okay. find this globe. Let me ask the question this way then, Demok or Chemo or Can Brian. you ever demonstrate? If I did, you can, if you can I like did. all let see. Me, let me ask the question. If I got to the middle of the North Pole and I dug straight downwards, how far would I dig? Could you give me could you give me a bandwidth on that number? I sort of maximum and minimum that, that that I could dig for? Well, if it's the same as the Bora Deep thing, eight miles. Eight miles. I could dig eight miles and then I'd pop out the other side. No, you your bits just burnt out, didn't they, or something? At eight miles. Right, but I mean, when would that end? When would there be no more to dig through? You don't know, mate. Nobody's saying Let's they find know. Out. Nobody yeah, at so all is saying they there. know what, is, what it is we're actually on. What we're saying is what they tell us is provably fucking wrong. Every way, everywhere. We're not making any... Earth is obviously not flat because we have hills, mountains... I just want to understand how far do you reckon we can dig? Could you give me an upper lower limit on it? I honestly don't know. So so could it be, Brian, could it be 4,000 kilometres that I could dig down from the North Pole? I imagine if you dig in your backyard somewhere, you got to call the city. And if you want to go too far... Uh, you got to call someone else, right? Yeah, you know, I don't mean so I actually want to start digging, Demok. I'm not standing Listen, here with a shovel no, in hand. No, we're talking about reality, dipshit. How far can you fucking dig in reality? We're not going to get away from reality here, stupid. So let's go with reality. How far can you dig in your fucking backyard without calling the authorities to let them know you might be digging <laughs> around a power line? So the, the main question is, could you show me that it's not 4,000 kilometers and it turns back into a globe? That, that was, that's my real question here. If you give me the government, I could show you a lot more than what the fuck I could right now with the shovel. I don't know what it is, mate. I haven't got a clue what we're living on, but it is definitely not what they've told us. I know it's dirt. I wouldn't say it's lava anywhere. I'd say it's dirt down there. So you can't tell us what is what we're living on. So in other we're words, standing it's on some dirt. Kind of grand conspiracy. It's a cover up of some uh, sort. It's dirt that makes what? everything. It's dirt. Right. All dirt uh, makes up some dirt and salt and dirt and earth and dirt. I don't know what it is. I just know it isn't what they've told us. Right. Well, do you reckon There's it could no be globe. like a rectangle, Brian, or like some other shape, but not a not a globe no I, I think if it was any other shape than somewhat level then we would be able to detect that right brian so, excuse me excuse me while i interject brian so why are all the planets within our solar visible uh, go get us a planet and bring it to us system. go get us a planet they've, they've go get us a planet i want to hear what Renee is saying uh global, yeah well, we don't global. care about fucking imaginary and, dog and, and, shit well, he imagines Why some imagination of imagination. Round, but oh, stop imagining. Exception. Oh, imagine and imagine and more excuses about shit that don't even fucking make no sense. What else are you going to drink? Some more beers. You, you're just spewing yeah. off what you've been yeah. told. We I don't move, know. Try to move on the conversation instead of answering. 
No, yeah. you're trying. You're supposed to be answering your globe's uh, definite fucking uh, distance, elevation, um, depth, uh, center. You're supposed to have all this shit My down. Globe's elevation. You say some yeah. Why, why, is, why is Jupiter round? Why is the moon around? You why is the moon around? You need to have how you got there and how your scientists got that. How they got the radius and how can you prove it by digging down and proving the radius. Fuck going in space Why and all this are, bullshit. All you don't need to listen. Our solar system dig down. Around, but Earth isn't. Listen. Last time I checked, you can dig in a gobstopper, or you can see in a gobstopper and measure from you one side to the next no and see. Is the correct so, answer. So if you can't even measure the Earth by measuring it, and now you can't measure it by digging in it, what else? Can, what? How can we measure this planet, guys? If you don't know, tell us. Oh, Earth is fashion. It's, Earth it's, goes to be so you can't measure it with the tape. It's anything, measure. but it's not what you think it you, is. You can't That's basically what measure. you're saying. Well, prove me wrong. Let's let's see your live video of fucking the Earth fucking center. Let's see your core. live video of this fucking of Earth that isn't a globe. Shit. Of imaginary there dog There you go. Shit. You don't okay. show it. I'm not showing mine. It. My video is imaginary dog <laughs> shit of a globe. You show me yours and I'll show you mine. Not My, until then. Mine's imaginary dog shit of a globe. There you go. <laughs> no, I still like it. a pile of dog shit. Imagine some dog shit. In school. What, you live in dog shit, did you say? No, well, that'd you be do. uncomfortable. That's your shit globe. That's your shit globe. You say some fucking funny things. <laughs> For the matter being, you don't have shit all to prove that Earth is flat when we have all you don't to prove that you, you can't even do your fucking ocean over seven percent, you fucking idiots. Get over it. You can't even go to your neighbor's backyard without him shooting you in your fucking head. Shut up. What? What? What, what are you talking about? Yeah. You I've think been, you I've been dealing with ghost these ghost idiots ghost in ghost chat ghost all night backyard. long. Go walk in somebody's house. See how far you can go, you fucking dumbasses. Well, you're a dumbass. There's no you're fucking people with fuck guns out. every second fucking house here in yeah, Australia. There is. You every fuck city, wit. every state, go everywhere jam you go. Damn it, bitch. mate. Go find it out and prove us wrong. You go you go prove that you're right. This dude has an emotional attachment to flat earth. He's a cultist. Let's. I'm I just. Mean, I'm you saying understand? It as it we is. could say that He's about. Absolutely you is. We could say that about you in the globe, though, couldn't we? Oh, we you no, you absolutely could not could not say that about us. That we know that Earth is a, a spheroid because we have unequivocal proof. Uh, unequivocal proof. Is there unequivocal proof that Earth is flat? No. Sorry. Well, what's your what's your proof? Because nobody else seems to have it. Oh, he's saying you no, don't have it. What is there you, a proof you, that you Earth is not to understand really? it? Are you crazy? You're a madman. It's all it, it, it's all over the place. The the first of uh, the first Apollo mission that to sh to take a picture of Earth. Uh. uh from outer space. Are you nuts? No, I can't talk to anybody that thinks the Apollo missions were fucking legit. And we're conveniently clicking up. All right, nice. Conveniently, conveniently watching movies all your life, huh? What happened, with Superman? What about that movie? Was there going to that one too? Is that? Is that Demix Mike doing that? It's bloody annoying. Yeah. Right? Then the crap out of me. Oh, and Superman and Batman. Denmark, have you not uh, seen uh, Ranty's evidence for a globe? Where have you been all this time? I think you missed that, right? When he um, became a, a globe earther. Uh, Muck, were you around at that point? Give me them. He's having mic issues, Kimo. 
be nice to get a new opinion on the observation. It's gone a bit quiet for that observation. Like no one's taking that. Uh... Well, basically, because there's nothing to argue about with that picture. Exactly. Randy's exactly. correct. What else do you want to know? Correct about what? There being a curve and that the Earth is a globe. Oh, did you measure it? Sounded like not you did. Not playing chemo, not going to play today. That's why I was saying if uh, Denmark's heard about this non-measurement curvature. You won't. <laughs> Well, you're still, they have gone quiet on that, haven't they? Guys, you, you're still searching for the radius of Earth? Uh, no, we're just searching for the uh, the geometric horizon. One we can draw a tangent to. Okay, more on out again. Who, who the crap is measuring from a horizontal chemo once again? You're, you're diluting does. again. You take your Fiona light, you take your crosshairs, at the horizon, tangent. Then go and do it, Chemo, and show us. Impossible, the horizon's not physical. If it's so easy to go and show us how to, how to do it, not the, not the result, but you should show us how we're meant to do it so that we get a result. Ah, so many that you cannot do, so... They muted you then, that's what. Yeah, I haven't really seen Anty's thing. I heard about it or whatever. Like, I've seen like three seconds of it or whatever, and I heard he became a Glover, but I never really knew him that much to begin with anyway. So, I mean, it doesn't really bother me any, but I don't know. I think he's showing a great flattered photo, a great flattered evidence. I think it's great. Yeah, I mean, most of us feel that as well, but <clears throat> looking for how it proves it's a ball without any measurement. I see a flat earth there. That's what I see happen on flat. I, I don't know what 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 they're looking at. What, what, yeah, um, I mean, I've never seen did you did you get engaged in these observations or measurements ever, chemo? Sorry. Did you ever get engaged in the observations and measurements and stuff back when everybody was sort of going out and you know doing things? Oh yeah, I've done my fair share. Which ones? What was the most compelling for you? Um, I think when we went out, when I went out with Ranty, by the boat, we were able to That's show the compression. Cool. Fruitful times, measuring the flat earth. Have you seen this video from Brian? Not Brian Mabbert. Brian oh. Lee. Brian Lee. And, um... I told him I would share it. But, I, I mean, again, Ranty... I mean, I find it hard to believe, because, like I say, when we look at this video here, of uh, Ranty breaking down Albia flat, I mean, he showed me, he showed Brian, he showed a, a bunch of people how the horizon works. Uh, so Brian made a video saying, "Is was Ranty Yeah, because he didn't understand it then. He now understands. understands you choose what? not to understand things, Chemo. And that's what yeah. your problem is. You choose not to. I'd so wow. like to hear from Ranty if he's here, but it sounds like he's just here in text chat. Oh, no, I think Ranty's just Oh, no, listening. I can see he's here in the voice, voice chat, but maybe just not able to talk. So love to hear about that. When he's ready, you'll pop him. Thanks for the flat earth evidence, Randy. That was great. You're an awesome flat earther. Keep it up, bro. Yeah, that video that like, I just posted here with the ship compressed, when he showed us the writing was compressed at the horizon. Was the, writing, was the writing on the wall, Chemo? The writing was on the boat. For the flat earth? On the boat. <laughs> oh, right. On the ship. So in that observation there with the ship. Thank you very much, Mippet. In that, <laughs> in that observation there with the ship, it's the same observation as Blackpool, where we see things sinking, lowering, compressing in the distance. So, we've got all the things we need to show. Oh, oh of course. No, 
you don't. Show us then, because just saying that doesn't make it so. Well, have a look at this emo. video here. Check this out. Have a watch of that, and then tell me what you think of the boat that looks like it's going over the horizon. No, because I know it's going over the horizon. I don't have to watch your stuff. Yeah, but Ranty's explanation... I know how it works. I understand. Well, good for you. Good for you. Shame you can't demonstrate you. what you understand, though, right? I'm just ashamed you can't understand anything. Well, you can't understand it unless you can demonstrate yeah. it, right? For, good for you, Mippet. You can just blindly <laughs> believe, Mippet, what you were told, right? No, I don't. Well, that's the point. I do this thing called reading books. And in books, in books with pages, not you can actually pages. learn things. I am muted Instead of... Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, the, uh, you know, the books Kimo, that you've you... been reading uh, are filled with deception. Chemo, you uh, you need to get some new oh, new material. This this act okay. you're just getting okay. really okay, old. I get, it I get told that um all the time. I'm thinking, but the, this information is what makes the flat Earth grow. So if we no, this information the record, is, but it, this information is just the same old shit you can uh, always say. Flat Earth isn't growing; it's dying. If we ch the globe is dying, if we change the record, ah. then we won't see <laughs> the increase in the flat Earth community. If we change the record, people seem to be dancing, singing along to this tune. No, we're just tired of your. No, you're lying tune. on your back with your legs in the air, shaking, going Ugh, in the death throes. That's what you're doing, Kimo. <laughs> you know, even the even the best the best comedians change their routine every once in a while. You just have the same old bullshit day after day after day. It's still interesting to laugh and point at, but it, it, there comes a time when it, it just becomes I, but dumb. I, get, I get in big trouble when I laugh and point, though. That's why they, everyone says, well, you should be here and tell them information. I'm going like, bullshit. They don't want to know information. I mean, look at Damon exactly. here. He's a great example of someone who doesn't want to know any information. I don't have a problem with you telling people information. Yeah, that's not, not they what have, I... They have no I, like, I just sometimes it. get irritated, grand, NASA, grand if you like... Things. Sorry, Renee, go on. No, I'm yeah, just saying that I they have no desire to learn. Uh, 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 Professor Philbell and 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 uh, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, Professor Philbell and and PhD and uh, PhD I Tony. Mean. We 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 yeah, Tony. We we've all come to this same agreement. They have no desire to learn. They just want to continue to ramble on and ramble on and when it. And, and what is the destination? There is no destination. If there is a if there is a destination, uh -huh. all I could re, uh, name it as is nothing but stupidity. But you guys, you guys, you guys, you talk, you, know? you guys have given You're up providing evidence, talker. right? Has has somebody has anybody shown, seen the paper? Have you guys seen the paper that uh, describes flat earthers quite well? What the sun? No, 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 let me post it for you. Is it you. a flat paper by was chance? It in the mirror? Uh, well, the yeah, paper, you know, but, yeah, <laughs> paper as in scientific paper, oh, as in oh, research, you know, so, something that you guys never do. Well, let me post it for you. I, for the I, have, I, have the, I can perfect, draw you up all kinds of papers and print you out some papers if you want. Toilet yeah, paper, your, your what papers do you are true believers. Yeah, toilet paper I can is what you believe. Globe toilet true. paper. Yeah, toilet paper is what is what's best. Toilet paper from your globe science, from your cockroach antennas. Uh, uh, incorrect, but nice try. Oh, every time an antenna touches believer. anything and gets an electrical current, we're going to name it the Bob. This is the Todd current. This is the retard law. This is Bill's law. This is Restein fucking Tard's law. Yeah, it's all great, but retarded, non provable, and you ain't got. <laughs> says the guy who doesn't know shit. I love it. It's yeah, says the guy who doesn't know Show us electron. Out. Show us a photon. Um, yeah, electrons, yeah, proton, right. neutron, electron. Show us anything around you, idiotic fuck. Well, what do you want to actually see one with your own eyes or something? You want to hold one? Retard. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah, you dumb son of a bitch. How do you test them, motherfucker? Luke, yeah, like, yes, How do you no. test them? 
Oh, oh, oh stuff. Guys, guys, we're meant Jack. to be having a conversation, not insulting each other, right? Come well, on. Tell us no, how no, your cockroach agenda is working. This is, yeah, why, this is, a, this work is really. a perfect example of someone who doesn't want to know because this is basically ninth grade science stuff and he's denying it. Oh, what kind of metal do you use for your science? Yeah. Copper, aluminum, brass, what? What are you talking about? Of course, you don't what know. What your readers for, for your electrical yeah. continuity that you read for all your meters that's all the same shit? The electrical, it's all electrical continuity that you use. You don't know what the fuck meters. he's talking about. That's come, just ignore them. He's right. just putting Can words I together that don't your go your together. Your radio antennas, your cockroach antennas, your TV antennas, your Could YouTube, your Bluetooth, your Wi Fi, uh, your cockroach antennas. Bluetooth, Bluetooth or, you, yeah, going YouTube blah, 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 is a blah, flat blah, earth blah. thing. That's how you guys do quote unquote research. but this, No, this that's how you guys spread lies. See this, see this paper right here? If, if you can I, read, I Damon, you should read it because it Did describes you send it you quite through a cockroach well. centimeter? Um, you need to read this paper because it describes you quite well. Low scientific intelligence and high conspiracy mentality. That's you. Is Actually, that a you, globe that you can't dig down to the center there, of? There's also, there's also a, a short write-up. It's, it's by Eric Coffin. There's called. also a horizon you can't uh, find in any picture. Actually, there's you, a horizon. You don't know where your horizon is at. I'm horizon, horizon every, every fucking day, day Damon. It happens every oh, fucking day. You can okay. see the horizon. Yeah, you right. Know. Every every day it's a guesstimation. Every goddamn day, that's right. <laughs> yeah, but how come the basketball doesn't change size in the fucking rock in your front yard, idiot? Every day's ass. Oh, the basketball. Of course, we have to speak about basketballs. That's something you yeah, understand. Yeah, excuse after excuse. You know, we'll talk about basketballs. How big is a basketball about compared no to the earth? How big is a basketball compared to the earth, you idiot? Eric exactly Hoffer, the same. 360 the degrees. Fucking retard. Sphere and sphere, idiot. Basketball's much, much smaller, you fucking idiot. Eric Hoffer, the true believer. It's available online. Read it. It will give you insight I just told you they're both 360, you dumb son of a bitch. Where these are coming from. Yeah, but one is significantly bigger than the other one. Eric yeah, Hoffer. right, cunt. You never showed the other. The only one we can see is a basketball, you fucking retard. Um, I see the earth every day. I don't Thanks, know about you. Do you keep your eyes closed? By looking at your feet? Where do you see that at? Where do you see the earth every day at? Uh, yeah, underneath my feet, out the horizon, all so over. So you see you in know? the street, the concrete's yeah, your you know, you know the hood? I see the hood. You know, when I, when I go visit so you, I see the hood. is that a flat? Hood. I see your mama. Concrete sidewalk. I see your mama. Is that a flat floor you're walking on? I see Joe Mama there. On... You see her on a flat screen? <laughs> flat screen. Your mama's so big she doesn't fit on the screen. Everything you see is flat. You got any round shit oh, going on anywhere? Yo mama jokes. Oh, sorry. It's oh, the only I round the shit you got is to play I games. See isn't flat. Balls are only for games. Remember that, boys. Balls are for games. You non-globe having motherfuckers. I, I, I would like to apologize to my fellow flat. American here for all you guys. This is Damoc here, but... I could go up in YouTube spy plane and, Earth is, and Earth's horizon is not flat at 300,000 feet. I mean, a great question that I like asking flat earthers and Demok in particular is um, what would convince you? And Demok usually gives a long string of totally incomprehensible things. Yeah. I want you to I show me Demok this in once. this bizarre way. I showed him the curve once. A little globe in a fucking glass on a classroom it. floor, classroom setting, on the teacher's desk. The, what did you learn in school? Besides, hang on. Was I'm not able to hear you. Hang on, let me bump, bump up your volume a bit. That's all flat earthers have. Get them, get them off the surface of this planet. They have nothing, absolutely nothing. Talk astronomy with them. They have nothing. You just described astronomy. It's nothing. No, Bullshit. Astronomy is astronomy is everything. You don't understand it. But you can't see the stars from the hood because, you know, the, the because light. You chose, because you choose to dismiss astronomy does not mean that it's, it, it doesn't exist. What is your major malfunction? Well, you can't see the stars from the hood. You know, the lights from the city. Blind, well, I can't see them when you're high on Xanax. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand what you guys are talking about. You, you sound know, like you're all when you're in the hood, man, you know, all, you, all you can see is basketballs. And... Are you guys slow like this every day? Xanax always high. No. We're no, not, you sound like you're we're on not, we're Xanax. We're not really retarded. We're actually... I mean, you we sound actually, like it. So Where's, so the globe actually then? Where's your imaginary snuffle like... up against the globe?
Funny. I'm here, yeah, actually. I think he's really good. good. Like, yeah, he's got a better you know. Yeah, I think I'm convinced he's got us. <laughs> hey, Blue. I don't know. I, I used to think that we had the stupidest flat earthers, but I think England gives us a good run for it with, with Mabbit and stuff. Agreed. As Demok single handedly <laughs> destroyed the globe. My fellow woodworker Blue just jumped in. <laughs> I'm here. Hey, Blue. Blue, what are, you doing up, what are you doing up at 4 and 30 in the morning? Are you getting up or going to bed? I'm just getting up for a while. And how's your Cavendish going, Blue? I haven't done much with it in the last couple of weeks. I've been taking a little time off. Looks not like go. it's going to move anywhere too far, is it? Nah, it's sitting right there. Well, you have to build a huge vacuum chamber around it now, right? <laughs> and, and a Faraday cage. And uh, what else? Yeah. I oh, yeah. What else. I forget what else you have to build around it. Don't worry about the cage. Just use Faraday balls. <laughs> Faraday's balls. Just don't leave them swinging. <laughs> <laughs> I think next I'm going to build the uh, build the, the the scale model of the Earth. I got the Earth figured out. I can make the little ball to sit in the middle of the floor in the classroom, and I can make the atmosphere surrounding it and the uh, waters and all of that stuff. But the thing I'm having real trouble with is I need to figure out how to make seven billion little fucking people run around on it. Uh, how about that water? It's the only thing stopping me. I got the rest of it kind of hey, What are you doing about the water sticking to it? Oh. Get some cockroaches. Oh, no you. I got the water. Get a couple lion I got, cockroaches. I got now. everything else. Get I got your everything else. Please, shut up, fuckhead. Get some head. lion little globe cockroaches. Shut up, fuckhead. Shut up, fuckhead. Fuck fuck Renee, you've fuck got fuck such head. a good shut accent. Up. Shut up, fuckhead. Well, uh, I, I love that American Southern accent sometimes. Yeah, isn't it? Just you look. Although the, the best voice of God. I, got, I, got, I have a little bit of a mix going on. I've got Florida and Texas and Illinois. I yeah. A... <laughs> Southern Illinois, by the way. Although the yeah, best Southern one. Illinois, te... Southern Illinois, Texas, and Florida. It's something else. Yeah. I thought the craziest one was when Blue was talking to uh, Nathan Oakley and told, called, say, said the word bollocks in a southern accent, which just was wrong, you know? <laughs> just just sound, weird, I know, but it sounded, <laughs> it sounded so wrong to hear a very English term being said by an American southerner. Of course. It was hilarious. I had to listen to it like three or four times. Yeah, blue, uh, blue. So I got that invention. I've got it uh, put together. I assembled it. I put a sneak peek on my uh, YouTube channel and to show how it's actually the mecha the mechanics behind it. I'm gonna. Uh, I'll be uploading a video of that pretty soon. Myself, I think it's pretty damn ingenious. Just put my woodworking skills Same to here. work. You know, into place. <clears throat> Did you send oh, yeah. me a link to it? I can I can send you a link to uh on, on I can DM you. you still uh, other uh, people's sneak, ideas, or did you Google them? I can I can sneak. Yeah. Uh, I can DM you my sneak peek. Yep. Yeah, and do once that. I, once I do the the final video, I'll I'll, I'll shoot that to you too. Okay. Hmm. Might do that now. 
should you do that sneak <clears throat> sneak peek. I don't know, Mouton, Taylor. I think we should have a stupid off between Brian Leakey and Mabbit. Mabbit, Leakey, and uh, Damoc. How do you judge something like that? I don't know. True. Because everybody would lose. What's happened? Where's Damoc? He on, understood that we're living on a sphere. You're giving up Eight. the fight? They lost. <laughs> He's rubbing they the could, two brain cells together. They couldn't show me a grain of salt up. make a sphere in any, in any way. They couldn't show <laughs> me a piece of dirt, a uh, piece of mud. They couldn't show me pudding. Uh, nothing make a sphere in any way, shape, or form, vacuum or not, from any kind of no, fall. No way. So there's no way in hell they can show anything making a sphere. a sphere. Not on any shape. Who so, yeah. Right. Cool. Cool story. It is. Hey, You're on Earth, retard. You're on Earth, retard. Oh, inside the Stay gravity well of Earth. Stay to Earth, slobber monkey. Inside slobber the jealous. gravity well of Earth. You want to see hey, that? Where, yeah. we are, where we are. Where we are. Stay on Earth. Inside the gravity, gravity well of Earth. You want anything you want for you except insults. Is that all you can do? Monkey, is that all you know how to do? Is, just um, is that all you know how to do is not give a demonstration or nothing? Really, is yeah, it? Dude, we're going to jump to your fucking program. We're gonna jump through impossible. Yeah, you're, gonna help, you're gonna help the other retards yeah, not, not no, show nothing. Is there any? Well, is there any way you guys are fucking have a insane retards. From anybody? We'll stop lying really? through your fucking teeth when you know this bitch ain't you round, and you can't produce anything person. round. Yeah, you can't fucking do retard. what you want to do. But I'm gonna make some impossible. You don't be a fucking retard. Through. I'm gonna yeah. Let's make some impossible hoop. For me show us some smart. Show us you make a globe, retards. Yeah, make show, this globe yeah, thing work for all your buddies. Inside the gravity well of Earth. You want us to make a globe. Yeah, more Honestly, excuses, there, you retards. Want to make a sphere, you okay, retards. Okay, you know, your fucking invisible buddy stopping you too. Oh from yeah, jacking off on a retard. Yeah, this yeah. Really is, this really isn't helping, is it? Oh, no, stupid. Dude. Listen, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to got nothing but a mad dog muted here. Why don't you just have the evidence of a globe? Then I'd be a glober with you, retards. No, you wouldn't. There's nothing you could. Oh, I would. I guarantee it. No, you're not. Because you're too stupid. Well, you're too retarded Let's to give me some evidence, so I can do that. Well, the know, evidence fuck. you want, though, you know that the evidence you want is impossible. Yeah, right, retard. You know you're, the evidence you want is impossible. Yeah, you know okay, your cartoon, Matt. Yeah, okay, retard. Looking out at the, okay, real looking the, real out the fucking ceiling? Okay, retard. Yeah, look who's talking. Show me a picture of Godzilla. Um, and we'll cool. see how real that is, you fucking idiot. What about Santa Claus? I saw your mama. She looks like Well, you were on Santa Claus's lap. I got a picture of you on Santa Claus's lap. So is that Santa Claus real? You're a fucking dummy, dude. Is your mama Just shut real? up and give me some fucking ball evidence, you dumb bitch. Just big blue. Maybe show big blue. Maybe show a fucking tide like on the ball. Can you oh, do that, it's someone talking. Yeah, I show a tide on the ball. One of you little dirty ass bitches get a ball and show water on it, making a tide happen, and I'll match you. I'll match the same material, same amount of water that you use for your fucking globe. I'll match the same square amount for your globe. Still got call me a retard. You, yeah, because you ain't got shit, retard. So you can't make a tide happen on a globe, tide, and I can show you a tide, tide on a flat surface. Every, if you can show one on a globe, I'll show one on a flat surface, bitch. You can't show some a tide on a flat slop surface. Off the, does some slop Retard. off the edges, Demo? Doesn't work, Demo. Do they have, does somebody Retard. go around with a bucket, picking it back it up, and putting it back on? Doesn't work on a flat earth, You know that. We need a ball, basketball, cue ball, any kind of ball, beach ball, plastic globe. Beach ball. You don't know what beach ball is. Only basketball. We'll deal with basketball. Listen, you pick the ball of your choice, and you pick the amount of water. Oh, you want to pick water? So yeah, after you show me on a your water and your ball, you moron. You have... moron. Chill. Chill. Shut up. Yeah, for a I need second. a tide. Yeah, tide demo. on the ball. I, I pick Tides my ball. Tide on the ball. It's simple. Yeah, yeah, demo. I all your a... science, all your labs, all your fucking ingenious yeah, millions, demo. all this evidence, and hey, people wouldn't hey, lie, dummy. would they? All dummy. your science wouldn't this. be able to lie, would it? All your demo. physics wouldn't be able to lie. Hey, retard cunt. You're a dumb fuck. Wait, I pick Earth as my ball. Well, you pick your fucking nose too, idiot. What's that going to well, you? Help said you, do? Pick, you said pick anything, and I pick Earth. No, I didn't say pick anything. I, I said pick 326 ball, million cubic I miles pick of water. A ball. That's the amount of water I pick. Yep. Come on, Demok, your turn. Right, show us, Demok. That's what you said you could do. You can't so even show that. To watch this. Well, show us no, your No, well, you said you could. You're, well, you're right. Let me see you prove it. Let me see your amounts of water you got. 
Let me see your big dirt. Let me see Ooh, it. So excited. Fully erect. Let me see your big amounts you of dirt. I want you to weigh it one by one, too. One by I'm waiting one. for you one guys to, to... You just said you could do that. One by Let's one. do it. Every bit what you just said, do it. Then put Every down the bit. donuts and walk outside. Nice try, cartoon magician. You can't go outside right now because it's nighttime in the hood, and he doesn't want yeah, to get his ass shot. Yeah, you guys don't know what a ball is because you've never seen one. He doesn't want to get his ass shot, so you he can't go You don't know what water is either. You've never seen up. that. So you know, Listen, I can do it with a gallon of water. So a gallon of water is all you need to show a tide on a ball. Nice to be okay. They got neighborhood watch in the trailer park. Listen, gallon of water and a ball is all you need. Let's yeah, go. I mean, inside the hood here, where I can show a tide with a with a gallon can't. of water. No, you, can't. you can't show a tide with a gallon of water. You it's my challenge. Uh, it's my Wait, challenge. Hang on, hang on. As soon as you do on a ball with a gallon of water, but, I will. hang on. On a hang flat surface, so with a gallon of water. Gallon of water Wait, you're an idiot. After you do, you first. No, you're I'm an idiot. You dick. He's Would a fucking idiot. Would you shut up for a second? Yeah, just shut up for a second, Demok. If you can show us an ebb tide Stop and a talking, king tide you retard, worthless in bitch. your Get damn your fucking ball model? in your gallon of water, you wordless hoe. I just gave you the challenge, what's an ebb tide? you non-globin bitch. You do, all you your know globins, what ebb... go talk to all your little physics cunt buddies and get Oi. your fucking globe in your gallon of what water. What is wrong with you? And I'll get a gallon of water is and a fucking flat head? surface. Can you hear I've me? Never known what's him wrong to with you idiots? A gallon of fucking water, retard. Hello. Can you make a cake? Do you want to make pancakes, you fucking retard? Literally, one you've got to turn him down or need. off one of the two because it's just I, yeah, I think I'm monotonously like off. off. Just because he just, he just fucking it. it's a, once wall. he gets once he gets like up to speed, he's like he just says like word after word after word that none of which when you put them together, Go together. Now, make any sense. Oh, like let's try and break down bird. what he's saying then. We want he's like yeah, the bird, only Well, let's slow it down then. Let's say it meticulously. And can yeah, came up. That's what I want to agree with this asshole. Even you cannot agree with this guy. Any glober to get a gallon of. I mean, you don't get to pick your allies when you're on a when you're a tie on a ball. <laughs> I'll I don't know. It. I don't know. It's even talking style. Oh, Damoc is an ally to the flat earthers. What does anyone understand? What Dam is asking? If you don't. No. You try and break it. No, down. I turn him all the way down. I don't understand what Damoc is asking for because what I he's never asking, understand I'm what he's asking him. for. He's like, show me this show thing, and it's always a thing where I'm like, no, nobody plane. claims that's a thing, and then right. he adds all of these foot, weird foot, like foot, limitations to it. He's got to show him like in his bedroom at night time while okay, he's okay, 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 eggshells. Oh, it's Why didn't you do it to Democ as well, Kimo? I'm about to. I'm trying to do something. No order, is yeah. there? No one can hear anybody. No. Um, That's right. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem. It's in your interest, not mine, that you're heard. You have points. You want them to be heard, right? Well, if you what? get a handle on your boy here, you what? might be able to get that to happen, It's Kima. all of you. It's all of you guys. I got a handle on my boy a long time ago. You see? No more than you talking then. Three, four ballers. Okay. On the case. Wait, Damon, on. If you catch my drift. I tried to answer yeah. him, and he wouldn't let me answer. What you should do, uh, Davros, is say, Hey, ballers, let me take this, right? Instead of just allowing... Oh, no, because I don't, I don't trust him, Kimo. No, you should say to your baller friends, Hey, I've got uh, this. Uh, I've none got of them this. are my friends. You should say that to Damon. Oh, say, Damon, Davros. Shut the fuck up. Or you, paid Shields, just say, Hey, other ballers, I've got this. Let me take oh, this off. I've only got I've only got one true friend in here, and that's Mippet. Well, there you go. When Dem is asking, what? Tell me what? That, well, you Mippet say, "Hey, ballers, I've got this. Let me address Dem's point." Why? Who's this Mippet person? <laughs> um, someone who <laughs> would up, rip your balls off, Renee. <laughs> oh, he knows. Okay. You better learn. Let's try that. Try that again. We are looking for evidence. Okay. Please, Gimmick, ask, ask a question and wait for an answer or answer a question not with, yeah, and wait for the answer and try to understand the answer. That's the trick. Is he responding? I've got him turned down, so I don't know. No, he's... Okay. Gallon of water for a glober. 
to show a tide on a ball. And I'll use the same gallon of water to show tides on a flat surface. My flat surface can match the diameter or whatever your globe is. So if you say you got a, uh, a globe out of a classroom, I'll get a five-foot square. I use a gallon of water. You use a gallon of water. We can show tides how they work. I'll show tides on a flat surface. You show tides on a ball. That's my, that's my challenge to Globers. It can... doesn't work like that. Well, good I excuse. Don't you understand. understand? Don't you understand you don't have it then? That means you lose. Oh, fuck off. There's no way you get tides with a you... gallon of water. Can you show me the flat the flat plane tides? I'd love to see them, Demo. Tides on the flat plane, that's easy. Just get a dish um, and just no, no, blow no. Demo on the water. Gonna show me. Not, blow on the water chemo. and you'll get a little tide. No, not not <laughs> waves. Tides, there's a difference. Oh, right, tides. Oh, no, that's flat testable. Plane. That's a testable prediction Kimo yeah, just yeah, made. Yeah, yeah, tides, And that is waves. the tides are always going, the wind is always going with the tides, right? The prevailing wind will always go with the tides, if that's the explanation for I it. I think what Damoc is proposing to do is to get like a like a pan, put a flat plane in it, and then like move the pan and watch the waves go around. It's like something you did in third grade. What we talking about? Right? It's just going to totally destroy flat and stationary. The, the second floor. part will be utterly. I'm going to use the stationary flat floor. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, hold on. A tide is okay. not that difficult either. So if we, it's not hard at all. I already know how to do it. No, there's no way to do tides. You take a big dish. Since you guys are slow. Of water. Okay, no, so this is the of you hold on, Kimo. I want to point out the brain power of these retards. The they don't even lakes, know how to fucking do it. That's how retarded they are. Great Lakes have got a ton more water than these guys are. They can't even fucking inch tides on it. So you want to create a tide in a flat dish. You're, you're, you're struggling with that idea. No, no, you're not getting a tide. You're getting waves. There's a difference. No, 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 no. So the idea is I'll that... Do, so, I'll, so a I'll tide is either. when... Is no, when... you're not going to get a tide. I thought you were going Tides to fundy are... mute me. Let, let them answer sometimes, NASA. Gosh, I can't even speak. We get fundy muted. And, you know, it's like, how can we get our point... Okay. So the idea, I understand a tide is when the water is lower and higher. Lower and higher. Yeah? No, that's a wave. You no. will not get tides with a gallon. You know what tides are? Yes, when the water goes down. That's a wave. The level, no, the level of the tide. water goes down, the level rises up and down. The level. In 12-hour cycles. No, no, no. Chemo. Listen, the level goes up and down. Yes? That's a wave. It's not in a 12-hour tide cycle. No. The tidal cycle is t twice in 24 hours. Yeah, we can create a tide if we if a no, tide you is what if, if you're saying it's it, it's lower level and a higher level. Like if you have it in no, like that a, is a wave. You will not get the twelve yeah. hour tidal cycle with a gallon of water. I don't care how good you are. No, you you're not understanding what a tide is like. No, you are not understanding what a tide is. A tide, the water yeah. goes. So when the tide's out at the beach, that means how the water disappears. Long? The tide's in, that means the water comes back to the and shore. And how long is it between high and low yeah, tide? Chemo. Right. So you what's the have problem? A high tide on, on opposite sides and a low tide on opposite sides. And they've got to revolve around. And how long is it between low and high tides, Chemo? No, no, no. Again, the idea is just the, the water is lower yeah, yeah. and higher. No, it's not water level. It's not wave. You can make... What are you talking about? It's not water level. Sides. Sometimes when the sea goes out into the water, you you can stand on the beach because there's it's no water. And then the water comes in. Yeah. And on the opposite side of the world, it's going out too. So listen, when the beach has no water, that's when the tide is out. When the beach has water on it, okay. that's when the tide is in. Yeah, so you can show this to yes, a 12-hour cycle. you got to demonstrate that on opposite sides simultaneously, Chemo. As long as we agree what a tide is first. No. Are you just being silly? You're trying to show I'm being a, silly. a serious discussion if you're going to be silly. I'm being silly? You, you're trapped you guys, and you, you know with, with, A tide one gallon, goes in and out, up and down. In 12-hour cycles. It doesn't matter about the time. The fact is that it yes, goes it in and out, up and down. It, actually, it does. It matters a lot about the tide. No, the time. It doesn't matter about the time. Yes, it matters a lot about the time of the tide cycles. No, we're not modeling it. We're just recreating what you have. Oh, we're not modeling it. You're just faking it. No, we're recreating what we you're see. You're faking it. Not modeling. No, you're faking it. Gotcha. Anyway, damn, it's a very good question. It can't answer. No, it's it. not. It's a it's a fucked up question because you don't you won't be able to model tides. You'll be able to model waves. Waves and tides can be uh, replicated. Replicated. Not a problem. 
Gonna get a big hey, dish. Hey. Oh, huge can problem. All that Waves, stuff. yes. Tide, no. Huge problem. What you gotta do is the have the water cycle? go from one side to the other side, and then it gets in twelve hour cycles. Not in cycles, no. Oh, okay. Then you're not doing tide. You're just doing waves. Well, show me a physical um, cycle. You can tell the, the difference between waves, and that is waves will have like that sort of. Don't they have that like same amplitude thing? So the base rate at which you take the water from is going to be at the same level, um, whereas a tide that that the sort of the average height of the water will drop um, significantly and stay low, and then just and that, then yeah. go back up to very Bio high. Shape, page shields go, no, no, that's not what it is. 12 hours. Yeah, so it stays over one side of the flat plane for a while and then it goes back to the other side for a while. That's certainly doable if, if we're on a flat plane and these scale models work. I'm not sure they work at this scale, um, but if, if you can make it work, I'll be so impressed. Make it tight. Yeah. How you gonna do Go that? for it. How, how you gonna do I'll, that? I'll, I'll, I'll PayPal you. How you I'm do that make with a, a dish? Here. How you do that with a dish and a gallon of water like Damox says? So you just have the water, uh, you create uh, mm -hmm. a force, and the How, water will what, move. What kind of force? What kind of force? Well, just create a force. What kind We're of force? What, force? what you see in nature. What kind of force? Use any force. Yeah, what's the force? What kind of force? Use any force. No, yeah, it's a specific force. If you're gonna, I mean, you don't know what causes tides. Well, what's the specific force? You tell me. You're, you tell it's me. your demonstration. No, no, it's your claim. It's your All I'm doing is recreate what we see in nature. Now you're saying the cause. Of that, which is what? You tell me. It's your demonstration. You tell me. The flat... All I say, well, we no, the use the force. The flat earth isn't real. We can, we can create forces. The flat earth isn't real, so I don't know what causes the tides in the flat earth. We can create forces, not a problem. Like what? All sorts of forces. Oh, what kind like of forces do you do? Like what? Well, in the dish, we would uh, um, create the force ourselves and uh, see How? the effect. How? Pushing the water. How? Pressing the water, applying a force to the water, pressure. Pressing it. What kind of force? Just, yeah, how? That's a good question. Well, I mean, there are various ways. We could have... Yeah. Um, uh, get, I'm going to explain now. So, like, like, like what? I'm going to explain now. So it may not even be a force. Okay. Now, again, this is just an idea because you want an idea. So I'm just thinking how we could make this work. So we could get pieces of paper um, to suck the water up. And create it's a wall. Have you done this, Kimo? Have you done this? I'm oh, no, still no. liking it. Let him go. We're, we're thinking. <laughs> now, we're, thinking we're thinking. We're thinking. We're thinking. So the idea oh, is okay, that sorry. the water, the water could go into the ice wall, and then it's so. What's creating the tides is when the the walls of the ice fall. An oscillating fan. Again, we don't know. We haven't been there, so. We're trying to figure out what so you're going, to, you're going to create tides, and you don't know how tides form, but you're going to remodel them on this dish. Yeah, because if the water, the water. Uh, and the ice, uh, if that has an oh, effect, oh fuck! And we can create. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't even get a good mark in fourth grade. All we can do is we can take a piece of paper, lay it down flat, have the water uh, soak into the paper, but we've got to somehow retain that water to go back into. Back into the plate. So it just goes in the water. So the, the paper's at the edge of this giant plate. Water sucks into the plate, into the paper, and then somehow we get it back. Somehow. Into the plate. Somehow. Yeah, but what's your, what's your big idea then? What causes tides in your model then? You know what causes tides in our model. So oh, fine. you're afraid to say it, and that's why we like oh, it. Oh, no. All right? You're nervous you to know bring up your cause, not like me. I came up with an idea. No, you, could be wrong. You came up with a could stupid idea. Which, could be stupid. Which is very wrong. Know. What do very, you think? Very, very wrong. No, it's probably not a force, Mr. Victory. Like I just said, it's probably just water going to the ice the wall. Moon, it's the moon, Kimo. It sort of does the what it wants moon. to do. It does its tides. When the water the moon, the water. Day when, after day after day. Because you, you guys say... Can I say, ask you a question, Kimo? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just finish my thought. You guys are saying it sure. goes down at one side, up at the other side. That may not be the case. Yep. The water, may the, no, the water may reach the edge, like the ice wall, it gets too cold, freezes, which causes the other side to drop, yeah, and then when that oh, yeah, melts... Yeah, yeah. You dance really well. Come on, dance, Kimo. Well, dance. again, when the ice uh, melts, uh, let's think uh, about it. When the ice melts, you have more water. Oh, no, again, we're just thinking, we're just thinking. What is your big idea, yeah, you're, then? You're just, you're just dancing and you're... 
doing that. Not, well, not you doing asked well, me then. You asked me for an idea, and I gave you. What's your idea of how the tides are created? On the flat Earth, I don't know. I have no idea how the tides are created on the flat Earth. In general, uh, came, excuse, excuse me, uh, chemo. Uh, Rodney on gels was uh, caring to ask a, a, a direct question. Oh yes, yes, I forgot. If Sorry, you care, if you would care to answer. Thank you, Rene. You were talking about a um, piece of paper causing it or something. What, what's your current theory on it? You were talking about no, blowing no, on no, it no, as no, well. No. So that sounds like not... winds or a giant heavenly piece of paper. <laughs> what's, your, what's your mechanism? <laughs> you see, that's why we don't give you guys what we think. That's why we say we don't know. It's, be, it's a lot up, safer it? for the flat earth to say, I don't know. Then yeah, try, because uh, Lemon does it. Lemon tries to give you ideas and you just attack it. And then he leaves and it's like, why do you even bother? But again, you ask, what do you think is going on? We, because nobody yeah. knows, we dare to do, which is think of an idea of what it could be. And then... Uh, you mean, you know, nobody know. knows. You, you don't know, know that nobody knows. Just because you don't know doesn't mean nobody, knows. Doesn't mean nobody knows, Chemo. We don't actually pretty, have a pretty good idea what causes the tides. It's been That's what I've been asking you. Yeah, what, what's right, the cause of tides? You know what it is. Google it yourself. There you go. You're afraid to say, and as long as you're oh, afraid no, not, to say, we, you know, know. Um, we can have these ideas you know because I'm we not simply do not know. We're not We're playing today. So the, the reason is, Chemo, if your explanation, like our explanation is, we think it's probably caused by the moon. <laughs> and what you can, what you can, how, I, I, get how, you, I get you find that laughable. Yes, that is hilarious. You think the moon is pulling the water. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what we Dem think. demonstrate. And here's that. the thing that here's the thing that adds credence to that that mm -hmm. you can do without even needing to go to space, and yeah. that is, look where the moon is, yeah. look where the sun is, mm -hmm. and look where the tides are. Right. So your explanation about a big piece of water or wind yeah. doesn't quite match up as perfectly as the moon does. Right. So what so we want to see now? Do you recognize or agree okay. with that? Let, let's not argue. Let's see. Sure. Uh, a plate of water, take an object of mass. And create a wave without touching the water. Yeah. Yeah. Objective mass creating wave without oh, touching the water. Yeah. 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 Let's see you that. See, you, let's you, see you, that. Light uh, in the sky. Sorry. Isn't he? Did you say the moon's a light in the sky? Come on, then. Let's see it then. You realize, chemo. You realize that the Great Lakes have got a lot more than one gallon of water, and the tides on the Great Lakes are about an inch. Come on, then, Paige. Here, let's see water. Take an object of mass and make a tide. Every time, every time the tide happens, you can over and over and over. Google it. Google it. Maybe that'll help you. Yeah, Google. You should Google it. No, 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 no. Where's your demonstration of a mass causing the water to? The moon. I can't even finish that. You think? Go to the beach. Let's take a look at what you guys are thinking and saying here. You're saying. Let me analyze what's being said. I don't know. I, you're right, Kimo. I think it's much more caused by paper and the ice wall. The ice into the ice wall. Yeah, that was a really smart thing. They told us to go look at the flat. It's just rolling a fat old spliff, and then suddenly it just does it once every twelve hours. Just rolls up. Yeah, flat water. Flat water is going to show us how a globe works. Huh, retards. <laughs> How come there is no tides in the Mediterranean then? Oh, is there none? Oh. I didn't know that. Is that the case? Very, same way the Great Lakes. There's like an inch of tides on the Great Lakes. Prove it. Okay. okay. Prove it. Prove it. Yeah, go out and measure. Go fly there yourself. Go talk to Doctor Bob. He lives nearby. I'm sure he'll put you up. Okay, so you have no demonstration. That's obvious. We knew that already. I have no demonstration. Most Fucking Google it. There are most, are most certainly tides on, on Lake Michigan. Yeah, like yeah. an inch. Yeah, I didn't think there were any bodies of water. Like, I, I thought Not it just much. gets down to a point but at which it's... tides. Yeah, I just thought it gets down to a point where it's minuscule. I didn't think there was any body of water, even a sort of cup, if you were willing to measure to a small enough level that wasn't affected by the moon. It would be difficult to measure in a cup. Very, very. Yeah, difficult. that's what I mean. It becomes I I impossible to measure, but is still is you still know, present. It's with the Cavendish, how your Cavendish balls move the water, you dumb whores. Oh, uh, Cavendish balls so. move the water. <laughs> Key on, shells. Do you go on? Go on, Davros. You uh, heard a lake air? Yeah. No. Um, I'd like to see you find a tide during summer on that lake. That's because there's no water in summer. There you go. It's still cold air's lake, though. But yeah. what we want to see, see, see an object. We want to see an object. 
fills up once every ten years or something. Hey, chill. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. What, is the, uh, what we want to see is an object move water without touching it physically. Oh, it's called the moon. Yeah, that's that's well. what we're that's what we're asking you if you can produce. That's right, chemo. Can, can you can you show us how to move water without touching it? No, that's impossible. Ah, interesting. Actually, it's not, it's interesting. The, the moon. It works really well. How, how does that work, eggshells? Does a fan count? Work? I I don't know, but my understanding is mass attracts mass, and the and the moon is not a light, but a massive There's object in the right, sky. So how how do we pull? This is not a press, then. This is pulling the water. Yeah. Pulling effect only. Yeah. Pulling. So let's see how an object can pull water. Sure. Yeah. That's that's what we're asking you. We've already we've already shown you our demonstration, which is the tides. Where's yours of this massive object that's alight in the sky? Sorry, not massive object. This object without mass that's in the sky that's oh, no, not a sphere but looks like a sphere that does that same thing. He was talking that's about ice we're... walls and paper towels and stuff. Do you understand what you've paper just towels. said? Capillary uh, action, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Hey, Charles, do you understand what you've just said? The words that have come out of your mouth. Do you, no, I you understand. So. You, you understand I know, I'm playing a said. game at the same time. Okay, so try to listen to what you're saying. You're saying an object... Can pull water. Yep. Can pull yep. water without touching. Sure. It. Yep. Yep. Do you understand what you're saying, Kimo? And that is, I find that incomprehensible and think it's wrong, no, even no, though no, I, I don't have a competing you're explanation. Saying. You're saying an object can pull water. Well, my name's Kimo, it... and I am incredulous. Therefore, it's false. No, no, don't I don't believe think... it. I'm asking for, I'm waiting for the demonstration of an object. Pulling. I didn't say I could demonstrate. Oh, it. I think you started off by saying you could, you, you and you and Demok could demonstrate on a flat. That's that's what got me interested in the conversation. No, Trying to explain I can't the do. Globe I mean, to again, somebody that is so invested in the flat Earth is not going to work. Have a model, I'm not interested in explaining it to you. Yeah, but we don't have a model. I'm interested just, in you. Know, you just, um, didn't you say you could demonstrate it? You know, I'm not. No, we're just no, coming up with ideas. You know, I'm not of how, you made in fifth grade because nobody knows eggshells how it works. We're trying to think of how it may work. Now, we know well, that we know scientists works, have already yeah. done that for us, Chemo. They know how it works. Now, it's we know your problem that you can't think up things to do it with your stupid flat earth science. Just okay. don't work like that, love. Sorry. Well, I'm just trying to get um, a demonstration of this uh, claim. Well, it's then you do it. It's, it's called Tidal Force, dude. Okay, so you're saying if I take a basketball over... No, I'm not saying no, anything not to do with that. a fucking basketball. You're saying that well, if I take... Uh, you, know, is you have the facts, the figures, the measurements, saying, and you never can produce them. I'm in the middle of saying something, Trish. Just hold on a second. The eggshells, you're saying if I take uh, an object of mass, like the moon, hold it over water, it will pull the water. Yes. Yeah. Same way it sticks Absolutely. to this ball, it'll get it's pulled a little bit towards point. another ball. It's a, it's a very consistent thing. I'm I'm surprised that it surprises you. Well, I, I don't think it really does. I think you like, understand it perfectly. It just doesn't it gel with the Bible. Yeah, so. it, yes, it's correct. It will disprove. Yeah, when have you ever seen planet. an object pull water? Yeah, the moon. That's Every really time well. the tide goes. This I whole know. started. The, the thing know. that got me interested in this is not trying to explain this to you because I because I I think you're motivated to not understand it. What what interests me is that you said you could demonstrate it on something flat, and I'm so keen to see that. I'm absolutely tingling with anticipation. Well, I just said you just need a force, I'm fully erect, applied pressure, and then you get your tide and your waves. <laughs> Sorry, that just sounds like an explanation. That I think the claim was you could do a full demonstration, and well, as yeah. you keep well, saying, you have the board. facts, the figures, the measurements, and no, the science, Chemo. So back. why don't you whip it out and show us? So why don't you whip it out and show us the globe? Right that's out. not what was said. Because the tides and waves are very was, different, formed by the different forces. Was globe different first. Period, period. The idea was because we don't know how tides work, and we don't know how waves work. We're trying to figure you know out how, how they may work on a flat earth. No, they don't work on a flat earth. That's your problem. Well, nobody has the answer. So all we're yes, doing we do is that no. we're taking our best why guess. Would you, what would, why would you claim you can provide a demonstration if nobody has the answer? That sounds like that's yeah. a falsehood. That, that's that not claim, what was said. Try to listen. Yeah, it sounds like it's completely at odds with something you said earlier, Kimo. Are you, you in the habit of saying inconsistent things? Well, try to I'm not sure how you model said. something you don't understand, Kimo. We're taking our best guess... 
at how tides work because nobody knows the answer. Yes, we do know, Kimo. We yes, do, we do know. and you don't. How come there's no tides in the Mediterranean Sea? I, I don't Kimo, believe that's the case. Is that the case? Tides oh, there are tides in the Mediterranean you, Sea you, because you I used to live on the Med. Not a huge, why? It's not a huge tidal range, but there are tides on the Mediterranean Sea, so that's Let's what. Take a look at those immediately tides. get there are what? tides on the Mediterranean Sea, Jerry. I don't know where you got that one from, but I'll put off the link come. there. If I, if, I rem the if I remember, the, 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 the general tidal range is only within maybe 50, 60 centimetres up 40. to about, up to they're, about they're, a foot They're and limited, half. it says. That yeah, yeah. Not yeah. More. So, so, Jerry, Due to the low long, long, there are tides in the Mediterranean. Okay, so well, then, on his own. well then, it seems like everybody to the everybody is attacking him all at once. It's not fair. I know. It's, it's oh, really thank you, Rene. Fair. It's quite all right. We've got Jerry here support. Why does the Red Sea have 25 times more tides than the Mediterranean? Um, because it's got a way bigger opening. Um, really? Down, yeah, it does. If you look at the Red Sea, and you look at how it goes down through the Straits of Hormuz into um, the Indian Ocean, and the opening there, the, the amount of water you can get in and out is much greater. When you're looking at the Mediterranean, it's constricted, one, by the depth, because it's not that deep a sea, um, and two, by the amount of openings it has coming through well, the um, uh, well, uh, Straits well, of Gibraltar. How do you explain the multiple places on Earth where the high tide comes in 7, 9, 11, 12 um, because, hours after the, the moon passes the meridian? Yeah, uh, again, that's fully explained. And there is. Oh, okay. um, yeah, it is. I mean, again, you right. want to try, you, you're looking for problems that aren't there. Well, what's the explanation, so, when, Andrew? When it, come, when, it comes, when it comes to having an explanation, see, Kimo doesn't have an explanation. He doesn't know. He's got a guess at that. I got one. But, what's um, the but what we explain? have is a full explanation that explains well, how the tides it? work and where they go and where they come from. Kima, I'm not going to teach you fucking shit that you already know. Well, really... Jerry's asking you, what is the explanation? you remember when we went through the, 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 the there are no tides at these point on Earth discussions two and a half, three and a half years question. ago? Um, no, no, you answer the question, not Jerry. Yeah, Jerry wants so don't to, lie to No, no, no don't lie tide. about the question Jerry asked. You asked the question, don't lie. Okay? Because yeah, this is too early in the morning on a Sunday, God's day, for you to start lying like this. Jerry asked you a question. What was his question? How do you explain the most? Hold on, hold on, Jerry. Hold on, Jerry. Hold, hold on, Jerry. Hold on, Jerry. Hold on, hold on. Driss. Hold on. Driss. What was Jerry's question? He was asking how the tides were working. I gave him an explanation. He started off saying that there is no tidal range in the Mediterranean, which was wrong. Uh, was I didn't say there was he, didn't, he didn't say that, Drush. You're lying. You didn't listen to what he was saying, did you? If I made a mistake, why don't you my listen intention to is why don't you not try to listen see to what he's saying where I actually think I'm asked. in the middle of a sentence, Kim. I'm responding to your point. But now, you just said be... something wrong. You didn't answer. You didn't ask what he okay, asked. I'm going to turn you down while I get my point back out, okay? Because again, you're talking straight over me all the time, and this is not fair. Can't turn on a mod. A mod. Exactly. Let, let's uh, came on. fair play. Let's everybody. Let's do fair play. Ah, uh, that yeah. doesn't happen with chemo in the room, mate. You know that. So, Jerry, and get your question out yeah. again. Let's see if we get this answered. <laughs> What was that, Kimo? Get your question out again, if you can, and let's see if we can get an answer. How do you explain mul the multiple places on Earth where the tide comes in 7, 9, 11, 12 hours after the moon passes? Uh, the who's he muted, Druss? He's muted a mod. When he's messaging the chat that he's unmuted Great me, he didn't he let him mute you. Great he mod. turned you down. Right. He can't he turn mods he down. When, he's, when he messages in the text chat, what uh, was that he's uh, turn me back up, I will unmute him. So just leave it and let uh, Jerry ask his question. Sorry, Jerry. Well, Sorry. he was answering Jerry's question. No, he wasn't. The, tide... the tides are caused, as Neil deGrasse he Tyson was. says, Earth's highest tides are caused by the gravitational pull when the sun and both the moon align. The moon goes around and around, causing different tides. And the sun, obviously, is a much greater pool on the water than the moon. 
but the highest ones are when the moon and sun both align. And the moon obviously is going around us and causing tides. So that's how you get your three, six, nine, eleven, blah, blah, blah. So how come the moon, how come I can't jump like 15 feet high because of the moon's quote unquote gravity? Oh, how come it only affects water? It does affect well, it, because no, mass, why oceans are big. Mass versus mass, right? So the oceans the are bigger. Sea, so a they, lot of area. The Mediterranean Sea. Are you really this stupid or are you just pretending to be this stupid? So, because it's so big, it's easier to pull, but it can't pull smaller things. All right. Well, actually, that's it's a that's been proven. Masses, mate. I'm sorry, that's been proven false as well. We are actually affected by tidal forces in our yeah, own but bodies. You can't measure it. Do you want to put money on that? You can't well, measure. It. You, you can believe whatever, whatever you want. Can you measure it? That's exactly what you want. Because they that was always their theory, wasn't it? With um. What they what they called loony, wasn't it? Which is oh, it's bringing all the fluid to your head because it's a full moon. No, everyone was werewolves. You know that. Oh, sorry, I got it wrong. No, but there, I thought there, there was is. also an effect to explain Jerry's thing. I think there's also an effect where it's not directly directly pointed at the moon, but it's like th there's a tiny bit of a lag. And I think there's. I also remember there was a something in a slop, something or something in a slop. And the slop was like, if a high, white, high tide crashes into a landmass, there is a sort of almost like a wave, but a very slow wave that will go back the other direction. So it's not just perfectly pointed at the moon all the time. And there is and also, also several other factors are involved. Like the geography of like the Bay of Fundy and stuff where you get huge tides. Yeah. And when the sun and the moon are both lined up on the same side, doesn't that also cause king tides? Yep. Well, the main thing is the science is still out, not on how the tides work, but how the ocean currents flow. The fucking science is still out. Sure, the science is still out on lots of things. The science is, is going to be still out on all things. That's how science works, because we don't just pick one book and go, oh, that's probably got it right. We keep testing and updating our, our assumptions about things. That's how we get smarter and better at things. If you pick one book, the chance that you've got it right is pretty low, as evidenced by Flat Earthers. And that's why you guys mute him, kick him, ban him, because those questions that he provides or presents um, are almost impossible to answer. We have no idea what causes not demonstrate. Yes, we have, do know what causes tides. Shut <sighs> up, Kimo. You may not know what causes tides, but the tides are pretty well explained. I posted a link to the NOAA. That's the model. We don't live in a model. Um, Fuck off, it's actually, actually, you hang on, chemo. You don't understand what a model is. You don't understand what a model is, chemo. Shut up. Model is a but chemo. Fallacy. No, a model is not a reification fallacy. You fuck head. A model right, is explains reality. You make predictions from it. It's not, and a scientific model is not your stupid plate with water and a little earth that you painted blue and green. A model is usually pretty much in math. Yeah, I guess. Not a reification fallacy. Shut up. You don't know what reification fallacies are. You well, globally yes, they do. They mean, what they mean by reification fallacy is we made up this thing that doesn't map onto reality and any try any attempt to, to undo it is is um, messing with this made up concept we've got. Made up concept. Even it misplaced yeah, yeah. Concept. Flat Earth is a made up concept. So is the globe. Don't have a no, flat the globe Earth is model. reality. We don't have a globe Earth model. We don't have a model. Globe is you don't stuff. have a model of the flat. Where's the model of the flat Earth chemo? If it's such a great idea, where's the model of it? Well, I would refer you to Walter Bislin, but other than that, we Walter don't have Walter Bislin a is a globe. Why aren't you have one? You should have a flat Earth. Why are you letting a globe make tell you what you believe? Said, other than Walter Bislin. Yeah, because you don't have one, because you know if you make one, we'll shoot it to shit, because there is no flat Earth. The reason why we don't have one is we're not allowed full exploration of the flat Earth. No, incorrect. Bullshit. I a call full bullshit. Exploration of the flat you earth can go. Earth. You can go anywhere you want on the flat Earth. Go ahead. That's fine. Nope, you can. You can go to Antarctica. It's not prohibited. It's no, to go. Far. No, that they're right about that. In order to go to Antarctica, one needs to be, you know, driven, upwardly mobile, make a reasonable amount of money. There's like, there's a lot of limitations. Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, we, we need access to the North Pole. Uh, you can go to the North Pole. Nobody will. It's no. That's open water. To... 
by a cone tree. Nobody, nobody earns the, uh, like nobody the owns tree. the North Pole. You could go there if you wanted to. Do we need our own, um, like, aeroplane to take pictures of Earth? Well, that's not my problem. That's why we can't do a model. So stop being childish. Lied to. They are lying to us. You haven't been lied to. You're an idiot. And if you haven't been lied to, where's the evidence of the... All around you. All around we see flat. Nope. Not if you look... But not if you open your eyes and peel off your flat Earth lenses. Hey, you want to see the ever expanding universe? Huh? Just open your eyes and look up. <laughs> so this is where the globe fails. No, the globe never fails. The flat Earth is a huge failure because you guys are idiots. Funny how there's no proof of the curve. Show me a fisheye lens. Show me computer generated images. No proof of the curve? Do the Eratosthenes experiment. Eratosthenes? Redo it. Go redo it live with your camera. Go redo it live. Do it live. Upside down in my bedroom this Saturday with your eyes closed. You couldn't do it if somebody paid you, you lying. Every time. Damoc with Picard and Tafal. I, I do have an interesting question, though. Why is it that we have to do the experiments they want done? Because like you tried doing their own experiments and kept proving a globe, you so now they've switched to asking us to do experiments. Damoc uh, is too stupid to get a stick and a ruler and measure the shadow. Then he then would require him to actually do some math, which he is very much incapable of doing. What what is you, what, what do you do for a living, Damoc? Like what what, oh, what would you say oh, is your like oh, skill? It's not, about the, it's not about the individual. Absolutely, it is. If somebody came in here and said, "I'm a physicist and I've I've worked on." You know, um, aircraft and stuff, and I've I've done a whole bunch of impressive things. By the way, I think the Earth is flat. I would be, you'd knock me down with a feather. I would sit at their feet and hear them talk for hours. I would think that they were, you know, ex exactly the person to listen to. But if somebody, we're, we're you know, didn't have any that. skills that related to their ability to determine the shape of the Earth, I wouldn't listen to. That, though, you're, you're not learning if you're. Do you want to sit there? Hey, by to listen to experts, I'm not learning. Yeah, if you want to sit there listening to somebody else tell you uh, where experts. you live, yeah, then there's something wrong with there you. Therein lies the, the situation, no. uh, Kimo. It's the like whole you point never is seem, uh, you, you seem like you don't care That learn. means if you have um, been told you're on a globe with a radius, you've got to go out there yourself, eggshells. You like haven't we, done it, Kimo. Like what I have you have, done? Like the flat no, but you haven't. You haven't done shit. There. What have you done, Kimo? We've been out there in the real world, eggshells. What have you done, Kimo? Well, let me just respond to eggshells a second. Goodness no. Me, what's wrong with you, man? No, you need to be fundy muted, Kimo. You oh, know no, that. he doesn't let me speak ever. Terrible. Yeah, he uh, won't even let me speak. He's a prick. Something wrong with him. Do you um, have a bit of a habit of interrupting? I would, take, I would no, encourage you to take that yeah, feedback. The NASA. fact that you want to sit there listening to so-called experts on any subject is the part of the problem. What you need to do is look at what you were told, which you want a ball spinning, flying through space, curving at a particular rate. Go out there right. and verify that that's true. Now, I no have, one can do that but more. you yourself, right? Without sure. you going out there and verifying it, you will always be a follower of a religion. Even if we gave you a flat earth <laughs> model right now, and you accepted. <laughs> if I gave you a model right now, the flat earth, and you accepted it, I would be your leader. You would be my follower. What you need oh, to fuck do. Off, Kimo. That's, what a, you need that's to... a fascinating thing, Kim. I, I hear that thing. You would be a follower of a religion. I hear that kind of thing regularly. Right. Could you expand for me on what what would be problematic or what would be suboptimal about being a follower of a religion? Using that to determine Just blind my faith. my blind faith. Blind faith would yeah. be a bad thing. Is that what you're saying? What um, would be bad about it? Because you have no reason to just fo blindly follow what I say. I'm just a man. Right? I see. Because I could blindly believe something. A man, another man. Yeah. Another man, I now, see. Actually, so anybody... what, what Kimo really just said is, was actually eloquent. 
to yeah. follow me, what I say is not necessarily oh, you, true you, you, because I'm just a man. I like that. Now, but, Kimo's an idiot, the, though. The he has not is, done shit. He has never done anything to do anything other than sit here and with the same old act that he always has, the same old five lines that he's got, and that's all he's got. This, but I think he, he brings up a really realize, important point, which is actually, blind faith is a bad way of determining that. thing the, 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 the shape or, or disposition of the natural world. Just, just you know, taking it on faith is a bad way to go about it's things. All the flat, it's all the flat earth guy has is blind faith. Well, how would you respond to that accusation, Kimo? That you that you are the one who's going on faith? Oh, on the Bible, you have, you have no proof. Well, faith in general, just taking taking one book's word for it. No, you're not listening, are you? Again, there's something wrong with your yeah, ears. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm no, trying, you're trying to listen. You're not listening. Okay, so we were told something about the Earth, and we blindly yeah, book, believe the Bible, that Bible told you the Earth was flat. I can get to the Bible. I'm going to get to the Bible. Don't worry. Just talking about the belief of the globe. So, what we do to verify, so it's not a blind belief, and it's actual fact. We go out and we verify what we were told. Right now, when it comes to the Bible, usually mm. your community, your parents, your family, your friends, your surroundings, probably your country, depending on where you're from, is what gives you your religion you have a choice you can say i choose not to believe in that i choose to believe in that that's just a person's Doctrin faith indoctrination you don't have to uh, provide any evidence uh, any proof it's basically a feeling right just what you feel um eggshells you're missing this point i didn't mute you uh patreon eggshells it's just a feeling you're missing this point feelings Yes. So if I read one book and I get a feeling as a result of being brought up with that one book by my community, mm -hmm. that would be a bad way to go about things. I not should test them for myself. A feeling is not good or bad. It's just how you feel. Just a feeling. Understand feelings? So you might feel one way in the morning. You feel different in the afternoon. You, yeah. you know about yeah, you know about that. you know about people who are atheists become Christians or Christians who become atheists. Yeah, it's based on how they feel. Well, yeah. And feelings can be good and bad, Kimo, because sometimes we feel rage. Hold on, and I'm rage to get this can point lead out us to actions. Hold on, I know, I'm... but I'm correcting you on a point. I'm trying to get this point Thank out you. of Eggshouse because he's very confused between feelings, the religious side, and practical elements of determining what you've been told. Now, Faith we've been told about. To be we've, been told, we've been told about God, we've been told about the globe. I can't go True. out there and practically demonstrate God to you. That's but right, isn't it? That's, that's right. So we agree on that. But can we mm. practically demonstrate the globe? Is that a possibility? Yes, yeah. Right. I think we can, yeah. Excellent. So can you personally practically demonstrate curvature? So this yes. is a good good question. Could I could I go. take do you think I could take get a Muslim and get them to practically demonstrate that you should have followed Muhammad, not Jesus? No. Religion cannot, it's a feat. Again, this is why I say sorry, Joe. So we have to keep going back because you don't understand the difference between feelings and practicality. Okay? Right. So, you, so listen, so, so listen, we have I Muslims see. who go to Christianity, Christians who go to, to Islam. Yeah? Yeah. So and there again, are arguments for both, aren't there? Again, there are practical yeah. arguments. So Islam says that the Bible has been corrupted and the that's Quran not, is that's the not true the word point. of God. That's not the point you're derailing. Um, you're missing the point. No, but they no, use kind of not talking practical. religion. It it's not a religious discussion. We're pointing out that religion is feelings. All religion. So any religion you bring you up. Me and I couldn't get my point out, but thank you. All religions. Could, we, pl could, we, please, all, could we please get to the balls of, uh, balls of the matter? That yeah. religion has shit all to do with the shape of world. Right. Try and tell Eggshells that he has it. a very hard time mm. uh, understanding this point. That it's he based doesn't agree on with that point, faith. Not Purely faith. Faith, 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 faith. What I, I can't demonstrate my faith. Is it clear, so, Eggshells? The I, can, sorry, you keep running on sentences, Kimo. Can you make short, Because I'm asking so there, the Eggshells, model. a question you seem to be answering for him. Literally Eggshells, is it, it clear, or are we going to go back to religion? To point in, so. Eggshells, are you comfortable, hmm. or are you not comfortable? Do you still want to talk about religion and people's faith? 
what cannot be demonstrated. But just an interesting thing that you seem to say, well, you're just taking it on faith. And it seems like what you, what you mean by that, if I'm to understand it, is when one takes it on faith, they don't test things for themselves. Or I might add to that, they might test those things for themselves, but not in a way that they could be proven wrong or not in a way that they would accept proof that they were wrong no you wouldn't know you don't have faith that they, you wouldn't know yeah that. it would be would be really difficult to know that you were wrong if you were taking on faith yeah, Is yeah, that what you, i didn't mute your page sure. right um and you you can't uh, that's faith yes yeah, yeah sounds like it okay so we can't do anything with that can we or can we well, I think we can use it to develop a degree of confidence. I, I, I would say somebody who continually updates their, um, their impression or their thoughts about the way the world is based on testing, um, the more they update them, the more, and they hone them, they sort of seem to be heading towards a more specific um, answer each, each time. That to me would be indicative that, that they are, you know, doing something like testing. Whereas if somebody goes, this is the way it is, and it's always been that way, and I refer to ancient texts to prove it's that way. That would make me think, well, they're probably probably not onto the right thing. Is is that cleared up now, so we can get back to the discussion? Well, nobody else is allowed to join into the discussion, so it's really just a conversation between you and Riding on Eggshells. Because anytime anyone else tries to interject, Chemo, they're basically fundy muted by you, like I just was. Yeah, I'd like to hear from Dross on this. Okay. Because, you know, the, the problem I've got, Kimo, is you want to say, well, there's no practical way of doing this between them. There are very practical ways to differentiate between Islam and Christianity. And there are arguments from both sides. Both have reason and justification that's sitting behind it. So it's not just purely a matter of faith when it comes to these things. There are points of information you can take on board. And that's mm -hmm. what you don't seem to understand. So what I'm trying to understand from your point of view, Kimo, is you keep wanting to say, oh, faith is just religion. Well, you can have faith in things that aren't about religion. Lots of people do. But when mm. it comes to what we're doing here, we have a body of evidence that can be presented and you have seen and looked at, but you irrationally reject. Unless you can give me a reason for it. You happy now, uh, Eggshells? Yeah, yeah I think like you've a... demonstrated my point quite well. But can we get back to the point now? That religion is not what we can demonstrate. True. Yeah, we just take it on faith. Take it Go on from faith. one source too. Isn't isn't that quite often the way of religion? Just one source. Just one source. Yeah. All faith. Yeah. One quite source. often the way, isn't it? Mhm. Mm you happy with that now? Sure, yeah, I think that's accurate. Okay, is the globe based on faith? Uh, I think not, no. You I think, think that not. they constantly update it, they have multiple sources, and they're happy with this agreement, um, they, they, and it doesn't seem to be based on feelings. In fact, the feelings seem to be on the side of we need to prove it's the flat earth. Um, but yeah. yeah, but you began by I think, saying, I think, I think, I think anybody in this room would agree that regardless of what the Bible says, if somebody showed them the earth was flat or a dodecahedron, they would just go, okay, I guess that's the case then. You just said, Whereas I you, think. you yourself have admitted that if, if scripture told you the earth was a ball, you would switch. Whereas, you know, that seems to be more based, based on faith than, than us. Our side seems to say, I will adjust my view based on the evidence. You seem to say, I will adjust my view only based on scripture. Stop trying to make sense of faith. Let's look at the practicality of it. It is a bit nonsensical, that's for sure. You're going to waste your entire life trying to make sense of a person's faith. Why would you do that? I mean, I think that's a good question. I think that's a valid question. I ask what? myself the same thing What's sometimes. The you talk about faith, eggshells. The shape of the earth isn't faith. We have science for that. Exactly, exactly. Would you take it was, if, if I showed you, if I went, hey, look, it's flat, and I managed to prove it to you, you know, with, with photos or something, you know, would you switch? Dude, just was? you, by yourself. No, no, I mean, like, I mean, like, we set a reasonable burden of proof, like we go, you know, we're able to measure it, and we show physicists and, and, and photos and explanations of how tides work and... You know, explanations of if how. If there was overwhelming how... evidence for, if there was overwhelming evidence for it, 
what can I do? Yeah, if, but if what if that, what if the Bible what still said it was flat? Which Bible? And the Bible's wrong. Right. Okay. So the Bible would end up being wrong. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Don't worry about the Bible. Exactly. They're just words written by men. Completely exactly. worried about the Bible was. <clears throat> exactly. Why would he be worried about the Bible was? Yeah, I don't care what it says. There's about a worry. It. Just, just put it out of your mind. Don't even. Like there's a it. like a new competitor. Like he was winning, and it's like, oh, I'm worried about the Bible. Yeah, I just don't think I don't think I could convince you. While scripture still seems to indicate a flat it's and stationary context, plane, like I don't think I could you're convince taking, you. You're taking my Sorry, words say again, in the wrong context, Spurs. The Spurs is taking my words in the wrong context. Yeah, deliberately so though. When I, I say don't worry about the Bible, I mean just, you know, forget about it. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to tell him, but he's not listening. Yeah. Watch again was he'll bring it up in the next fifteen minutes, possibly. I keep I again. Know that. Religion, Bible, watch this was. Eggshells. No the problem. Yeah. Is there any. Problem uh, you with the Bible no, it. What can we. Um, how can we prove practically that the Earth is a globe? Uh, prove. Like a... We don't use that word. You know, people who are interested in science don't use that word prove. Okay. They say show to a high degree of probability, I think is generally how the scientists put it. How can you show to yeah. a high degree yeah, of Certainty is not for us folk, is it? I agree. Sorry. Yeah, don't worry about the semantics too much. How can you show to a, a high certainty, high degree, degree of, of probability? Certainty? How can you show that? No, not words? certainty. Oh, certainty. You keep changing the words, man. Probability is the word I used. I oh, can go with probability then. What do you have that oh, probably on Earth? What's the I probability? Go, Sorry, blue. I go. LIGO is a good me one. And, yep, uh, that seems me to and suggest Charles it. don't have access to LIGO Blue. Sorry. We're trying to figure out what. Yeah, um, we're trying to figure out what Eggshells can do instead of blindly believe in his religion. Uh, you have you have plenty of access to LIGO Chemo. All the drawings are online. I'll give you a link to it right now if you want them. A drawing. Yeah. Yeah, like like China Chemo. You can go and visit LIGO, and they'll give you a tour. It's funny that the globe yeah, evidence consists too. of drawings and cartoons. No, no, you can go and visit it, Chemo, and actually see it. So you're not restricted from going there. The only thing that's stopping you going there is your laziness. Well, I've got to wait for eggshells to You can get also here. go to CERN. No, you can go on your own, Chemo. You don't have to go with someone holding your hand. You're an adult. You're a man. You can act like one. The idea is to show eggshells how to do experiments for himself. He doesn't no, know. No, it's not. I, I, I'm very confident that eggshells has a reasonably good understanding of the scientific method. Oh, it's no. not your place to teach anybody, You're because wrong. as you keep saying, you, the only thing you You're have is faith. Wrong, I'm Ask sorry, I, I don't right, care you... what you think. All right, okay, I'm giving, I'm giving a statement it. of fact here, that you don't have any evidence, you don't have any facts, you don't have any experiments, mm -hmm. because that's what you said, that you can only do this bit on faith. Mm -hmm. Then you wanted to shift to the globe, and look at our evidence, which you ignore. Mm -hmm. So, what do we do? What we're going to do is test what you said about eggshells, knowing the scientific method. No, I, I don't feel that's really necessary. I feel that's a, a derailing the conversation away from LIGO, which is something you don't want to discuss by the sound of it. Why don't you want to discuss LIGO? We've got to make sure that eggshells knows how to no, do science. No, why don't you want to discuss LIGO? You're derailing the conversation to a new topic. Why are you doing this? We don't have access You meet to me LIGO. for this all the time. We don't have why, what are you trying to derail the conversation away from LIGO to a point where I'm you just think you can you talk you're a not, cheap you're point? You don't let me respond and tell you why. I know, it's annoying, isn't it? You do this to me all the time. The reason why is because me and eggshells do not have... If you were listening, we're trying to show eggshells how to conduct a practical experiment. Now, if you're saying LIGO, me and eggshells would have to go to LIGO and conduct an experiment. Now, unless you're going to pay for eggshells, he's, done, he's not going to pay for himself. You're going to have to pay for eggshells. Why? To... It's your contention, you're Chemo. To... It's not a contention for me. Why it's not a contention me, for adding on eggshells because you're bloviating. Um, so you're bloviating. But you're monologuing. You to me? Because you're monologuing again. No, I was answering the question. About so I don't have to pay for him. So you ask me a question, you'd, you'd have to pay for him, wouldn't you? 
So I'm now responding to that question. and trying to say that it's not something I, we, not question it's not in contention for, for us, is it? It's How in contention you for you. For him a question? No, no. It's not in contention for us. Yeah, it's no, in no. contention is, for you. You'd have to pay for him so a question. So you have to get off your ass and do this. How is you'd have to pay for him a question? You have to get off your ass and do this, Kimo. He wouldn't change his mind anyway, would he? That's but actually, what we're looking no, for. No. Because you were saying that you would sit there and listen to a flat earther for hours if they were an expert on a particular subject. And I'm saying they would be your leader and you would be the follower. And that's not what you want to do. You want to be able to demonstrate these things for yourself. That would be... I didn't say I would just believe what they said, though, did I, Kimo? Well, yeah, I'd you'd listen say to them. I absolutely there, like listening listen to, to experts. They've but... got a credentials of some kind. But do they have practical measurements, you should ask? And if they don't, well, then you're wasting your time. And the idea is to well, show... I guess some of the question would also be, how would we trust their measurements? And some of what I do to, exactly. to know if I want to trust somebody's measurements is like, what are they outputting? What is, what is the thing they're outputting? Like, Snake Man's just posted a picture of the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. Mm -hmm. If somebody said, I built that causeway and there is no curvature, I would be like, wow, let me listen to this. And it would go a long way to convincing me. Mm -hmm. Whereas if somebody said, um, you know, if somebody refused to answer or describe anything interesting they'd ever done in their life, anything that seemed to indicate a knowledge of physics or astronomy or anything like that, then I'd go, well, I'm going to take your your opinion with a, you know, jar of salt. But look, again, Top I know you How I'm understanding, I'm not saying you're saying this, but I well, know you, it seems to me you're looking for a religion of some sort. You're looking for a leader um, to show you the light. When what we're trying to show you is uh, not listen to what we say. Don't listen to the flat earthers. Listen to what you were told in school. Do you want a globe spinning, flying through space? Now go and verify what you were told. So when I ask you, mm. where is the curvature? Where's that geometric horizon? You can say, ah, I know it is because I've measured it. It's right over there. What have you? What have? What have you done? I was curious to hear a bit about that. Tell me a bit about what you've done that I should be impressed by. Why I should sit at your feet and listen? Because I get a bit bored otherwise. Came out. Got to be really honest. Really got learning you're a difficulties. Bit, it's kind of like a. Somewhat interesting to listen to for a short amount of time, but then it ends up becoming a bit of a broken record where you're like, oh, yeah, this bit because again. Because you don't yeah, learn. To that bit. You're not listening. It's, that, like clicking on, it's like clicking on voice prompts from an NPC. Well, that was like weird writing for Eggshells. You made that statement and you said you've got learning difficulties. I, I don't quite see how that necessarily follows. But obviously, Pardon when uh, you're teaching someone Eggshells, not everyone in the classroom gets it first time, so you have to spend a little bit more time with that in particular students so they get it like you so what i'm trying to explain to you Oof. just said it again don't need me or anybody else to tell you what the shape of the earth is all you need to do is look at uh, the horizon you see a flat horizon and go with go with that and if someone else you measure that it's flat if someone else comes up to you and says what you're mm. looking at is not flat ask that person for the measurements yeah? No, 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 no. I want to show, see your measurements to show that it is flat, chemo. Or is that just another faith position you hold? So you understand X has how to do it. Don't listen to Are anybody else. You to answer that question. I'm in the middle of something, Dress. I know. Rude. I asked you a direct question on your point, You're and you rude, ignored Dress. me and moved straight past it. That's the rude point. Hey, what information? Can, can you mute, ask him how I, he confirmed it was flat? Today. Yeah, I think it's a great question. How have you confirmed it's flat, chemo? Like I just told you, okay? Look out at the horizon, and you can see your flat horizon. Now, if someone else says to you... Just, you look out you and you see a flat horizon. Me? Is that really it, Kim? Have, have a minute whole or two, Druss. I can't seem to get a word out in edgewise here without you... Just no, I'm, I'm happy horizon. to hand over to Druss now. I'm kind of bored with this clicking on an NPC and hearing the same voice prompts over and over again. Well, as long as we're clear uh, that religion is faith, you shouldn't bring that up uh, unless you have a religious discussion. And also, stop looking for a leader, a flat earth leader. Okay? You need to be able to lead yourself to the evidence. Okay? You're a big boy. Right. So, so if something looks a certain way, it is that way. You sound to me a little bit dumb. Well, like, I said, to me. like I said, that's the starting point. If someone else says to you, well, that's not Just really flat and bit, horizontal. I'm happy to hand over to Druss now. Druss, you, you take over the line of questioning. I wasn't finished what I was saying. Yeah, but it's not interesting. It's not interesting, no. It's educational. 
Sometimes no, it's not education really. It's really is not, not. interesting. Sometimes classes are really boring. But the information. Well, sometimes teachers are certainly are. Yeah. Sometimes teachers are really boring. The content itself, I don't think, very often is. Well, it depends. Again, like I said, the time of day, the mood, you know, all those things. Have but you right... muted Druss again? I did... He's on me. You are so else. weak, Chemo. Mm. I just said to you. So int... weak. He keeps on. So int... flimsy. Keeps interrupting. It's every because time he just admitted that he again, Druss, interrupting me. I can't. You're friendly muting me, Druss. Why? <sighs> I can't you seem to get a word out nice without thing. you funding me. There you go again. Every time I speak, you, you're speaking. Why can't I get a word out without you ever talking to me? Okay, so let's get back to the discussion here. That's because you say nothing. You, all, you talk the entire time, Chemo, and then blame people for interrupting you. I'm asking, yeah. I'm asking simple questions. I, I just want him to admit that he holds the fact so that it's a flat you're horizon doing it again on now, Dress. Mm, Sounds like it. So... Back. So horizon on faith. Uh, what happened there? Why why did you keep the flat horizon on faith? Speech, what did you just do? Oh. What happened there, Beach? What just happened then, Beach? What's going on? I'd like you to address the question, please. Beach, what happened? What's going on? Ross, is the term fundy muting new? I haven't heard it before. Um, reasonably new, yeah. It's what Kima does to most people. Doesn't want to, he either just he totally ignores the question, because I, I think the fact that he's I just admitted... I didn't mute you, Page. Stop that he, blaming me. He's now over-talking me. What, no, what's going on here? Yeah, I'm asking a Veach a question, and you're over-talking that. You're answering for Veach. No, I was responding to running from eggshells who asked me a question. Yeah, or do we now have to? Do we have to now wait for Scott to respond to you? Yes, can't you do this by DM? Can't you do this by DM? We have a situation. Why don't you DM him? We have a situation. Came on, have a chat via DM. No, we have a situation here. <laughs> Something's going on. What's it's? Well, it's mod not issue. Not anything any of us can. Room issue. So you mod sort it out between you and leave us the fuck out of it. No, because if it can That's happen to me, it can happen to anyone. We need to find out what's going on. What, like you meet him all the time for no reason? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does seem to happen all the time. So where did, is it, is it yeah, like a, a fundamentalist is speaking and right. muting all somebody right, for guys. saying something? All right, guys, let's go back to having a decent exchange. No, I agree with that. And all I wanted to do was find out from Emo. He, he basically said his starting assumption is that the horizon is flat, and he admitted that he hasn't measured it. So he's way. holding the fact that the horizon is flat purely on faith. So that's what I have a problem with. And the fact that he won't address that point and now wants to run away to go and have an argument with Scott or do anything else but address that point, I think shows how badly he's fucked up. So, Veach, what's happening? I rest oh, my okay. case. Maybe we're going to get some fairness if we've got two mods apart from chemo. Could work. He's dodging the LIGO information that's been provided to him. Yeah, he's dodging LIGO, he's dodging the horizon. In fact, have you noticed that any time that his feet get close to the fire, all of a sudden he's got to change the topic and talk about, well, you know, yes. you're poorly educated, you don't understand the scientific method. Run, 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 run. This is all oh, you're doing yeah, at the moment, he, Chemo. Well, that's if he, he used the happy feet real to your quick. Question. And it'll be like he hasn't heard any of this conversation going on in the room now. And he'll come back and he'll pretend it never was said. Because that's because he doesn't have the courage to address the problems with his argument or lack thereof. Mm -hmm. Why well, change and, your and, and routine? Then he will it's, move on to another matter, success, you which know? he normally does. No, like I said, we have a situation. We need to find out what's going on. Here yeah, you're go. touching the question. That's the situation, Kimo, as fucking always. Yeah, the situation is you can't answer the questions, Kimo. No, that's not the situation. V, well, what's it going is. on? The situation is you are not in 100% control, Kimo. That's the situation. And no, you don't like it. That's not what's happened. It can be the fact that you just got kicked from Discord because Discord has an error. It does that on occasion. And now you're making a big fuss about something. I don't know why you keep shouting at Scott. I don't think he's even said put a text message in this morning. So 
why you're doing this, I don't know. It just sounds to me like this is an excuse to run from the points on the table. One, you have faith that the horizon is flat. You have no proof. And two, um, you're ignoring all the evidence from LIGO. Um, these are two things that you seem to want to run away from at speed. Fair enough. But at least do the decency of saying, I don't want to discuss that topic. At least be honest about it. So we have a situation I don't know. here, uh, Veach. What's going on? And again, ignores the point, moves straight on to something that is irrelevant. He's derailing the conversation in the room. I want everyone to notice this. Mm, I've noticed it. All right, lovely chatting. Lovely to hear, hear you all so again. So, Veach, you've it's entered the room. Really. You've ruined the conversation. What's going on? No, he He's hasn't ruined the conversation, really Kimbo. You've ruined the conversation on by... Topic. Yeah, you're not keeping on topic. You're ignoring the questions writing from eggshells was asking you. You're ignoring the question Blue's asking. You're ignoring the question that I'm asking you. And you want to run away. Yeah, now, you have no evidence that anything happened to Veach. You haven't even finished my point. You couldn't even let yeah, writing from eggshells say yeah. goodbye without over-talking him. And you're now over-talking me. Yeah, like Can I you said, calm the fuck be down, Kimo, and here, handle it by DM? We, we need to find out what's going We have a situation. Yeah, you missed Veach. Yeah, he just popped in while you were... Yeah, and he's ruined the conversation much. now. We need to know what's going on. He hasn't yeah. ruined the conversation. The only person that's ruined the conversation is you, Kimo, by asking irrelevant questions, strawmanning people's position, over-talking people constantly, and that's why Ryder from Red Shots was fucked off, because he got bored with you dodging, ducking, and diving. And that was before Scott got here, so don't fucking lie. Yeah, Veach is definitely messing with the server. That's for sure. Yeah, we have a situation. We need to find out what's going on. Yeah, go and explore and find out, Chemo. Maybe find some evidence. 